the 85 millimeter is the one lens that every photographer should have in the arsenal and i'm not speaking specifically on the panasonic i'm speaking about an 85 mil across brands When this lens came out initially, it caused a lot of stir in the photography and videographer community because an 85mm at the price point that it came out and the quality and the build quality of this lens was absolutely brilliant. It's ideal for portrait photography and not only portrait photography, there's multiple other genres of photography that you can actually use this lens for. Now focusing on the 85mm specific, a lot of photographers and filmmakers have been raving about the size of this lens. The lens is very lightweight, very compact, you have no issues with when it comes to focusing in and out of with the lens. I'm currently using it on, an, on a Panasonic S5. So this lens is perfect for the S5, the S5 II, as well as the S5 IIx. Metallic Lumix mount at the back. You can just see, you can make out from that specifically that the bold quality of this lens is excellent. It obviously is an f1.8. It has auto and manual focus switching on the side of the lens as well. The lens in itself is very lightweight, it's very compact. The nice thing is you can shoot one end with it. Alternatively, it has the and there's enough room in order for you to shoot with two hands as well. It balances the weight across the camera and the lens. From a, from a build perspective, it's also dust and splash proof. So you don't have to worry about whether you are standing on the beach front shooting a couple of photos and you're worried about the sand going into the lens. Alternatively, if it does start drizzling, you don't have to be too concerned because your camera body is obviously weather sealed as well as the lens that has the resistance in it as well. So that eliminates that fear that you would have when it comes to either dust or water coming onto the lens. It has a 67 millimeter diameter at the front, tightens quite easily on there. The Lumix 85 millimeter produces sharp images. It creates a very nice bokeh. Not everyone might be a fan of the bokeh of the 85 millimeter, especially with the f1.8 aperture that the lens sports. The linear focus motor also operates very silent. As soon as you press your back button focus or your half shutter you hardly even hear the focus motor of the lens from a design perspective as well that has an autofocus and manual focus switch along the side that does sound a little bit plasticky it has a clicking sound it has a minimum focus distance of about 2.8 2.62 feet now the 85 millimeter is an ideal focal length when it comes to photography for videography a, a lot of filmmakers don't necessarily use the 85 millimeter that much but there is instances where you want to get a specific shot, a specific look, then the 85mm still works. When it comes to filmmaking, there's no image stabilization within the lens itself. It uses the IBIS of the camera in order for you to get the stability of the shot. So when it comes to handheld videography, handheld filmmaking, I wouldn't recommend you actually use the 85 unless you have a very steady shot. The camera body of the S5, the S5 II and the S5 IIx, the electronic stabilization and the IBIS that is built into the camera allows you to do so. But Obviously, you need to be quite stable in order for you to do that. Utilizing it and expecting to get that stable shots handheld, uh, you might just sit with a couple of issues along the way. So alternatively, put it on a tripod, get yourself a cage with a handle um, just to balance it out a little bit more. 2024, this lens goes for about $599 at the moment. Um, I would definitely say it is a, it's a very good investment to make. But with this one, I've been working with this now for a while. I have this camera now for over two years and the 85 millimeter is one of my go-to lenses, especially when it comes to photography, especially when it comes to natural light photography. I do video with it as well, but the video that I do with it, I usually put it on a, on a tripod and once on the tripod, then I have my ND filter on it. I get that stable shots and that stable footage. If you are, if you are a seasoned photographer or seasoned videographer, I would definitely say getting an 85 millimeter and the Lumix 85 millimeter specifically if you are a Lumix or a Panasonic shooter, the Lumix 85 millimeter is definitely a brilliant investment to make when it comes to photography, when it comes to filmmaking. Uh, this is definitely a lens that every photographer, and I say it again, an 85 millimeter is a, is a lens that every photographer should have in his arsenal. And for the Panasonic shooters, the 85mm f1.8 is a lens that you definitely need to get yourself.